Golan Translation is a story about an exceptionally intelligent young girl, Kimberly Chang, and she comes to the United States with her mother, and they find themselves in a situation where they need to start their lives all over again in this world that's totally incomprehensible to them. Her mother was an accomplished musician in Hong Kong, but here she and Kimberly need to work in a sweatshop to survive. Well, Kimberly is a really smart girl. She's, um, she's got a talent for school, but she has a really whole new challenge when she comes to the United States because she doesn't speak a word of English. The novel is also very much really a story about a girl who winds up living in two different worlds. She's got this exclusive private school she goes to where she really has to cover up her world from the sweatshop. And meanwhile, after school, she's still going to help her mother. And as a result of living in these two different worlds, she meets a different guy in each world. One of the things that happens is that Kimberly has to make a lot of very important choices about who she's going to be with and who she's going to be. It's basically a story about loss of innocence. It's about overcoming hardships, but at its core, it's a love story. Although Girl in Translation is a work of fiction and not a memoir, it definitely was informed by my own experience and the experience of my family when we came to the United States and encountered a culture that we really didn't understand at all. I came to New York from Hong Kong when I was five years old. And my family, we had been pretty well to do in China, but when we got here, we had lost all of our money and we wound up working in a sweatshop to survive. And we did live in an apartment just like the one in the book where it was not heated. And I remember there was this pane of you know, ice on the inside of the windows. And it, we had the oven door open because it was the only source of heat in the whole apartment. I started by wanting to write the book for my mother. No matter how difficult my early life may have been, my mother's was much more difficult. I wanted to let people know what my mother was really like. She's never really learned to speak English. So to an American, she comes across as quite simple. However, in Chinese, she's really eloquent and funny and wise. There are things that happen that are difficult that you can't forget, but I've always really felt compelled to write about them because when you bring those things into the light, you see that they're actually beautiful and that people can share in them and understand them. And how many people say, I was never able to talk about it, but now I feel that your book has helped illuminate this whole world.